that being a woman is in these times. For my mom, I'm a part of this movement because though she's tougher, far tougher than any man I've ever known, she shouldn't have to be. This is so exciting to have you all here, even though we're here because of a very sad reason, that we don't have equality for women. About 10 weeks ago, two ladies by the name of Karen Teagarden and Desi Jordan were having a conversation about the anti-woman legislation going on in this country, and they were really angry, and, and they were talking to each other and saying, you know, we're angry, we're talking about this all the time, but what are we doing? We can't just not do anything. And so they got off the phone, and about 1 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, Karen made a Facebook page called Organizing Against the War on Women, and she went to bed, didn't think a whole lot of it, and uh, woke up the next morning, there were 500 people asking to join the page. Within one week, we had over 10,000 members on that page. It's amazing, so it's not just us here. There's tens of thousands of people across the country standing up for women's rights. What do we want? When do we want it? What do we want? When do we want it? We support full reproductive rights for all women. We support equal pay for equal work. We support the immediate renewal of the Violence Against Women Act. And we support unimpeded access to all health care services for women, including family planning services. I work to unite all in the task of sustaining life on earth. It's from Micah 6, verse 8. One verse wraps it all up. Pretty good. The Holy One has told you, human ones, what is good and what God requires from you. To do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God, whoever and whatever that is for you today. Was mine and not Michael's. I have marched for reproductive rights, but I've come to believe that rights, all kinds of rights that are represented here today, must be based in the framework of justice. If Jesus was physically on earth today, I know he would either be right here in this rally or he would be in Los Angeles or Sacramento or New York. He would be in this rally. We continue this same fight today, the same fight as our great-grandmothers, our grandmothers, our mothers, our sisters. It's a fight for equality, for economic equality, for social equality. It's a fight for justice. Fired up? Some say we shouldn't use the phrase war on women. Bullshit. But let's be very clear. It doesn't matter how people want to package what is being done That's right. to women across this country. We refuse to accept it. When food stamps are cut, to fund tax breaks for the wealthy, that is an economic issue and it affects women. With the recent rhetoric of sluts and shaming women and debates about insurance access and a host of economic issues that continue to disproportionately affect and seem to desi de design to affect a woman's place in our society, I could no longer do nothing. I needed to voice my objections to the direction the country's going, and I needed to do it now, and that's why I'm here on this stage. So when you talk to elected officials during this campaign season, ask them a direct question and make them give you a direct answer. Yeah. Do you support reproductive rights for women? Yes or no? It's not a trick question. In the year 2012, we should not be fighting this war all over again. No. So let's make sure our voices are heard, that we stand up, and that we stand tall, and that we are united to fight for the rights of all women and all people. Thank you. 
after you can blink and see the face of your lover and not the open mouth ecstasy of your rapist and the jewel between your thighs remembers the caress of gentleness and not blood streaked tearing survive that is when i will know for sure america loves me a woman activist also has her own blog called Old Lady in Combat Boots, where she describes herself as an all-around troublemaker. Let's give it up for Dorley Rainey. And I want to say thank you, Rush Limbaugh. You have energized a group of people who had never really much given much thought to the Equal Rights Amendment because they thought it was a done deal. Amen that maybe the Republicans have done us a favor yeah. by being as disgusting as they are. <laughs> and what we need to do is we need to be like ivy. You know, ivy goes and it grows into the brick, and pretty soon the brick disintegrates. And that's what we need to do. We need to be the ivy of the world and kind of take down these disgusting institutions and all over the world I keep getting mail what's the matter with the Seattle police that they go and pepper spray you so we need to stick together work hard teach everybody and multiply the movement Thank you. and today we say we are still in the fight and we won't stop until we fight back the attacks, the war on women. So I have a question to ask all you. Are you ready for the fight? Yeah. Are you ready for the fight? Yeah. This fight is going to take a movement to make it happen. We 